Now it's time for us to lend our listening ears to the first of four valedictorian speeches. Representing the cohort of the Specialist Diploma in Educational Therapy Chinese Support is Ms. Hu Ying. Ms. Hu Ying had a mid-career switch from real estate to special educational needs as an educational therapist supporting students who struggle with Chinese literacy. She first became an assistant Chinese teacher in an international school and encountering many children with learning differences who need her support was a turning point in her life to join DAS and pursue new knowledge and skills in SEN. She believes that every learner is unique and we should recognize their strength, we should recognize their efforts and find opportunities for them to shine as brightly as they can. Let's welcome Ms. Hu Ying to deliver her valedictorian speech. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and faculty members, and my fellow graduates. It is a great honor to be here today. Firstly, I would like to congratulate all my fellow graduates for the specialist diploma in educational therapy, English and Chinese support and the graduates for the specialist diploma in specific learning differences, as well as all the other graduates from the University of South Wales, UK. Today, I'm going to share with you about how I became an educational therapist. In the past, if someone asked me what I wanted to do as my profession, I would never say that I would be a Chinese teacher. The reason is not because I don't like teaching. On the contrary, it is because a teacher is burdened with a lot of responsibilities. I think that I'm not fully prepared for it. And it is absolutely impossible for me to be competent in teaching. In my opinion, teachers, like doctors, are not just the profession. Doctors are responsible for the lives of their patients, just as teachers are responsible for the future of their students. Just imagine. If you are a salesperson and your performance is not good this month, you can catch up next month. If you are a designer and your drawing is not so good, then you can also continue to work hard and wait for the next chance. But as a teacher, can we wait for the next chance? The answer, of course, is no. As we all know, each student needs to learn the corresponding knowledge in different learning stages, such as Thinking development will start from the age of three, and the language development will start from the age of four. You can't turn back time if you miss it. Therefore, teachers must always bear in mind this sense of responsibility. Dare not be sloppy and wait for tomorrow. I was fortunate to, be ha to have uh, participated in a course that allowed me to acquire the qualification certificate to become an international Chinese teacher. Gradually, I found new understanding of teaching. It only improved my professional skills, but also built up my confidence. Then, I had the opportunity to join a local international school as an assistant Chinese teacher. In my daily work, I've encountered many children with learning difficulties, such as ADHD, ADD, and ASD. The students, parents, and teachers are all struggling with these learning difficulties. I was wondering if there is a special education that can help them. Later on, I heard the word educational therapist for the first time. And I felt amazing that the two professions of a doctor and a teacher could be combined. I became very interested in this profession of due responsibility. And I wanted to know how to heal someone by teaching someone. Thus, I joined DES. During this year's learning and teaching in DES, I've gained a deep understanding of children with dyslexia and, learning, and other learning difficulties. Many of my students want to speak Chinese, but they are not speak due to lack of confidence. They want to learn Chinese, but do not know the way to learn it. These students and their parents have long been in this helpless state. So, this has made me think that I'm not just the concern about teaching them how to read and write and their school grades. What I need to heal exactly is the heart of these children who are in the state of alert helplessness.
through the special diploma programming, I've gained more knowledge about learning difficulties and started to understand that every student is unique. What I should teach them is what they need and not what I want to teach. When you see that they are trying to, they are starting to enjoy learning Chinese, even if they only learned one radical or two characters today, but you know it is more than their usual achievement, you were willing to celebrate this more improvement with them because we firmly believe that students' efforts are more worthy of recognition than their achievement. Their growth is not reflected in their grades, but in their interest and confidence in Chinese learning and gradually becoming independent learners. I believe this is also the initial intention and expectation of every educational therapist in VAS to ensure that our students do not lose hope in learning and never give up on trying. Today, I have achieved my diploma qualification, which is just the only proof that I'm qualified to become an educational therapist. It is still a long way to go in education and new knowledge to learn in the future. I must stick to our initial intention, hold on to the sense of responsibility as a teacher. Keep learning and self-reflection, hope to help every child with learning difficulties and have the honor to witness their growth. Furthermore, I would like to express my deep appreciation to all of our lecturers and tutors for the invaluable guidance and encouragement. I would also like to thank all of the DES staff for your assistance and providing a good learning and teaching environment for us. Most of all, I would like to thank my family for their love and support. In conclusion, I would like to end my speech with a Chinese perspective on education. Education is to know that every student has their own unique colors, recognize them and let them shine through their own talents and hard work. 教育就是每一个与众不同的孩子都拥有独一无二的颜色。请你看见孩子的天赋和努力，坚定地让每一个孩子都闪耀出自己的光芒。谢谢大家。Thank you all.